Oh, great. Hi, everybody. So, uh, I was just checking out some stuff and apparently the game's already downloading an update and it's going to take another half an hour. Game's cursed. Oka dok. So, uh, in the meantime, I'll do something else. Um, in the meantime, I will do something else. Or, what if I can stop it? Because I don't actually need this patch. What if I stop this? And just play it. No, okay, cool. I'll just do something else in the meantime. Cool. Also, hi, I am Larinin. Um Okay, so I guess in the meantime I can What could I do? Do I do a play the way quick? Quick monster prom run. Something else. Random slate aspire thing. I don't know. You tell me. Because last time we managed, we managed. Because this is not the first time that this game is giving me trouble. Last time we managed on some monster prom. Oh, it also needs an update. Ah. 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 Do whatever I feel like. Oh, thank you. Hand of faith. Hand of faith. You mean hand of fate? The... Card game... Crawly Majolly Bethingy Majiggies. Because one, I have installed. And two, with the cards. Yeah, one, I have installed. And two, I would need to install. So that's cool. Um, but sure, I guess I could do that. For a short time. Because I don't, I don't need that much time, right? I'll just do a quick... Let's do a quick one. Oh, no, you know what? Since this is a, a roguelite, right? What if I try out this open beta key I got? And because the game looks cool. So I'll try that out for like half an hour, see how it flows. And then you can jump into Man of Medan. I'll do that. In the meantime, maybe the silence will be broken. Who knows? Ah, uh, but I need... Uh, so annoying. I need to install everything. Why did it need an update like five minutes before I started? Oh, this is the worst. Because the only thing it's doing is just unpacking, right? It's the worst. Let's try it out. See what happens. Professional streamers abound. Let's try it out. Let's try this open bed out. And next, go. Please work. Worky works. Cued. Ah. I knew it. I knew it. Fine. Fine. Uh, hand of fate. It is. There you go. Cool. Making this work. Making this work. It is. Controller. Yes. Yes. Very important. Give me, give me, give me. How about I change 
this to actually capture what it needs to capture. No, this is not the thing. This is the thing. There we go. That's not even centered now. Okay, there we go. Hand of fate for half an hour. Unless it queued it. I hope it didn't queue it. I mean, that's going to be the worst if it did. Did it, did it work? Did you download? At least for the love of God, tell me it worked. And this didn't... It didn't just screw everything over. Oh, no, still busy. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. One, one... Back so soon. Game. I knew you would not falter. Maybe a bit loud. Maybe a bit loud. There we go. I think this is this fine. Yeah, it should be fine. Them levels look Another good. And our game truly begins. Okay. So, I haven't played this in a long while. Ah, uh, yeah, right. I forgot. I resetted my progress for a stream once. Oh, well, guess I'm doing I'm doing a queen of dust. Um, okay, cool. A bold woman this one. She did not collapse when the empire did. No, she took up arms, organized yeah, her people, and vowed that in a country where death had gathered, she would be the one dealing it. Now we play for the Let's get this let's get this Russia. lady what she deserves. Still the presentation of this game is so great. You can say whatever you want. And that voice, like I've added some cards to spice up the game. Really now, okay, to okay. And game decks, there are now blessings and curses. Choose your steps carefully. Okay, here we go. Sure. I have no shield, right? Maybe I can. Uh, I'll just ask a shield. Ah, yeah, right. Do I need to read the cards? I probably need to read the cards, right? It's probably a good idea. Here, you can have some bread. So, uh, this guy, what well, guy we met, is a secret goblin. And he asks us for something. And we're, hap we're happy to help him. So he gives us a present. This is a, like a card you get in the beginning. Is this... Is this break is destroying my is this destroy this is dropping a bunch of frames cool also cool what's going on what is going on uh, well should be fine i don't know why it's dropping frames anyway should be fine okay tasty shield then before you can stop him with inhuman speed, he snatches the pickled onion off your plate and sprints out the tavern door. Okay. So yeah, that's um, it's a card you usually just get in the beginning to get you started. It's always nice. The landlocked lover. Is this this is DLC? I think. A challenge for you and a token. The door to the landlocked lover opens with a creak, breaking the silence like a thunderclap in the pool. The proprietor greets you. Welcome, traveler. Before I can treat you with our hospitality, I must ask you a very important question. Have you seen, heard, or God forbid, smelled a kraken? I have... N What's a kraken? I have never seen a kraken. I have never seen a kraken. Consider yourself lucky. There is no more fouler beast than a kraken. I am Carlo. Welcome to the landlocked lover. After giving you some time to enjoy the warmth and some stale bread, Carlo approaches you. I've heard rumors of boats going missing from the small village port of Knollwich. Knollwich? No survivors, no witnesses. Knollwich port is run by bandits, thieves, and smugglers. Ah, cool. A 
hive of scum and villainy. Wretched hive. Uh, there's no way to know what's really happening here. Perhaps you could def uh, ha you could have a look around and find out more. I will go, of course, but I have this place to look after. It looks at the empty, damp-ridden flea hole he calls home. Take the token. It is yours. But I'm pretty sure this is just like free DLC. Fair oh yeah, enough. Unicorn Maiden. I'm not surprised to find that this encounter remains vivid in your memories. So one day in a shady forest, we encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet us. I am Merith of the forest folk. Uh, my people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? Um, I am going to ask for a longer life because I don't need the money, nor do I need the supplies. As you wish, she waves her hand. A light shines from your skin. I draw one max health at game. More health to work with. Much good meat, do you? Did you say much good meat, do you? Did I, did I understand that correctly? One more step down, and we may see the end of this, or another set of stairs. This game is still only beginning. New rules, new tools, new abilities. We have far to go as yet. Scary. Okay. Ah, Twisted Canyon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, you see a weapon glinting in the sunlight, lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. The walls of the canyon are covered in thick vines, perfect for climbing. Let's do this. A choice. Select your desire. I'm gonna go for this one. There we go. We make our way to the canyon and we find a weapon from an ancient corpse. We get desperate measures, which um, punches harder the weaker we are. And we will um, equip it sure right now. The right approach? I am very sure. It also means we lost like all those cars. Traveling mage. I don't think I need anything. Uh, we find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventures. Uh, specific items that they've discovered in faraway lands. The prices can be high, but they pay well for anything that catches their... I can unload my rusty sword. You'll just be listening your brain hurt. Oh, that's sad. Oh, take something... Take something to help you. Don't, don't, don't suffer. But sure. Uh, oh, it automatically disappears. That's bad. Okay, damn it. But uh, we'll we'll try to build a narrative then. We'll, just, we'll try to build a narrative. Priests, as we try. And eternal damnations. I have no truck with any of it. As we try to help a helpful priest. We play for a token now. You meet a wandering priest who greets you in a friendly manner. Um, give the guy half our food. That's twelve. So it means we have six left. I'll take eyes I'll take eye closing and sleep slater. Sure. Here, can I have my food. Huge success. Huge success, please. I think it's this one. I think it's this one. Dang it. It is done. We get a blessing and a cart open. Self righteous. Blessings Any hit the player inflicts two more damage. But are never oh. removed. Unless you die, of course. Then you're back where you began, as always. Okay, cool. Very nice. And we get the token. Every step you take consumes food, 
but you will also heal as you proceed. Well, thanks for the advice, but I'll, I'm fine. We found a friendly trader willing to ride, you ride, his, ride his wagon, so we are going to hitch a ride. And that should be the last part of the adventure. And more confident than I had imagined. Perhaps you will play beyond this mark, and we will see your true metal. Hopefully. The Song of the White Minotaur. Again, a token is at stake. The Mug and Barrel Inn is renowned for attracting the most talented bards from all around. You arrive there wary from your adventures, but tonight's entertainment convinces you to settle by their hearth for a while. Hours pass and the crowd starts to thin. The bard begins to move around the room, playing requests for small groups. He serenades a pair of young lovers for a meager sum, and is then generously tipped for leading a group of blacksmiths into a raucous chorus of foul language aimed at the folks from the next town over. He approaches you, well, well, well. We do have here a most distinguished adventure. No tawdry tale of insipid chivalry or brash tribalism will do you, sir. Merit a stirring ballad of bloodshed, heroism, and death. The bard sings of you the fable of the White Minotaur, a legendary beast who is master of both might and magic. Maybe it could play some might and magic. Come now, hurry up. We don't have forever. Hey! Hey! Look! Look! Heroes of Might and Magic is a good series and you take it back. Its power is such that it has felled every adventurer, bounty hunter, or treasure seeker it has ever crossed. At the close of his song, the bard leans in close to you and whispers, The white minotaur is no myth. I met a man two nights ago who hunts the beast as if he were its long shadow. I'd wager that any adventurer would be interested in the tales he told me over supper. All yours for a small donation. Oh god! This one. I like the look of you. Does five gold sound fair? Yeah, sure. Here, have five gold. All the knowledge he has gleaned about the white minotaur is ours now. This is going well. Who are you? And what are you? The gulp more... It's, we have to go through all these DLC cards, so this makes this run very... The secrets of your memories. Very... Um, Some you wish you'd left untouched. Uh, odd exciting, I guess. One night, as you lie in a forest clearing, you are disturbed by the sight of a shadowy figure watching from the darkness. Well met, the goblin exclaims, stepping into the light and sitting by the fire. Just the armed warrior I've been seeking. Ask him to elaborate. Uh, the goblin makes himself comfortable. My name is Mr. Lionel. I've met you, and I have a tale of woe to share with you, and perhaps an opportunity for you to make a tidy profit from my misfortune. He goes on to tell the story of his troubles with the King of the Goblins, while lamenting his subsequent banishment from the Goblin community. Must be some kind of troll. The King could have shown leniency, he concluded, given that his daughter and I were both drunk from the excellent Dolesian brandy served at his coronation. Oh god. Oh god. Mr. Lionel, why? For hundreds of years, the Goblin Kings have gathered treasure and hoarded it in a series of enchanted and ever-changing treasure halls. Only the Goblin King himself knows where his treasure vaults are hidden. But now I have a way to find them. I just need a lock of elven hair to complete this magical device. Sure, I'll do this. Excellent! Just get the hair by any means possible. Don't worry, I'll find you again once your quest is complete. Are we gonna cut Merit's hair? Uh, with that, he returns to the shadows and sits down behind a bush, watching. Well done. Okay, are you an actual thing? Your provisions are running low. Can you press on? Yes, I can. If this stops giving me some goddamn DLC stuff. As dusk settles, you arrive at a small village known as Lesser Dimsgate. The locals are gathered at a shabby, shabby looking inn. Something must be done, shouts a voice raised in anger. 
They took all our gold and food, one peasant wails. Will nobody stand up to them? I'll help. They went that way. <laughs> Not an hour ago. We easily catch up with the band of ruffians. They seem overly confident around in no rush. As you approach, the one who seems to be their leader notices you. Kill him, he commands, gesturing towards you. He looks like a troublemaker. Oh, cool. Nice. We can actually fight. Okay. Two times two of dust. I'll handle and I'll deal. Oh, they're even split up. Now we begin to raise the stakes. The arena itself will fight against you. Beware of my traps. So, combat in this game is basically like the Arkham City combat. So you get free counters. But these are still very simple. And the red ones you can't counter, and that's it. That's basically it. It doesn't get more complicated than this. You gather the stolen supplies and return them to the villagers, saying those bandits will trouble you no longer. Oh, they weren't bandit, the child explains. They work for the White Council. It was our turn to give tribute. Okay. Noble causes turn to oh, we're here. Enterprise. Okay, you this desert this battle and send the queen to her rightful end. Yet, what have you gained in the process? Yeah, exactly. Nothing much, right? The desert queen is more lethal in battle and harder to kill than a regular bandit. Her blades are sharp and she is frequently protected by a powerful crossbow. She was taken by slavers as a child and raised in the desert. Over the years, she has bribed and murdered her way to her current position as second in command of the desert thieves, proving herself capable of ruthless cunning. I, will I like the cut of her jib. I do not think you have what it takes. Well, we'll find out. Since it's just in time. Okay, let's do this. So those you can't... You can't uh, counter. Ooh. Could you? Could you not? Could you not? Thank you. Oi. So, yeah, in the end, like, the, the two, the Hand of Fate 2, is basically just like a very big expansion on this stuff, which is super nice. Because uh, I like basically m everything they've done in this. Like the presentation is nice, the concept is nice, the combat is a bit simple. But I think it improved in the second one. But I really should get around to playing it decently. Like this, I've played for a while. Inevitable, I suppose. So often those who beat plowshare to sword die by the grim instruments of their industry. Still, she fought well and bravely, which is all I expect from my pawns and players. Very nice. Yeah, so every time you complete a row, you get uh, upgrades, right? So it's basically the game gets harder and you get more benefits. And the cards we've played and we get the tokens for basically unlock either new events or new gear. 
And uh, that's why it's a roguelite, because you build your deck based on the cards you've gotten. Which we'll now find out what we get. Symbols of my power and past the first gate. There is no turning back now. Previously I was merciful, but now I cannot be. It is begun. I crafted each of these cards over the course of years. You have taken them from me in mere moments. But this is basically the tutorial part. So now we can hit up uh, Smuggler's Wharf. For dealing with the help for police, we get a potion that we can use, a healer's ring and charity, which we can have later. For hearing the song of the white minotaur, we receive hunting the huntsman, which is continuing the DLC stuff. Or, yes, the Maiden. Okay, so we do need to cut Merit's hair. Uh, for helping the people in Lesser Dimsgate, we get the White Council 2. And this is for actually finishing the stuff. We get the Jack of Plague, which is going to be fun. Uh, sleep in the Forest. Uh, Field of Poppies and Battle at Brookdom. Fun events all, I guess. We also get fleet cuffs, uh, armor of cold, and a huge hammer, which we can find. Come. So and there you go. Play. And that is the entire core gameplay loop of this game. In the meantime, it's finally done. It's finally done. We can we can get started on that man of Medan. Perfect. Do you have what it takes to defeat the rats? So I am going to uh, close this one and start up Man of Medan. So then we can get started on being the most awkward bunch of people we can imagine. Quit. Yes, please. Yee! Yee, 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 yee. Let me flip this over to this thing. So what we've been doing is basically a playthrough where we say nothing, right? We play the game, but every time we're prompted to say something, we are the most finished people you can imagine. We just, just silence, just silence. And it's so dumb. It's, it's so tough. <laughs> And we left off last time uh, after the, the basically the introduction part, right? So we know all of the main characters and um, could we could we could we get this game started? Controller, controller, please. Fine, keyboard it is. Um, or is it just because it's not clicked in? Yeah, there you are. Aha! So we were playing alone. And we are continuing where we where we left off. Hello, you're just in time. You're just in time, Latvian bun. Yeah, it had it had the same thing as last time, right? It's like, oh, let's play this game. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're cursed. You got to wait another hour or half an hour, 20 minutes, whatever. You managed to swim and eat and come on time. N uh, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, you missed me playing some Hand of Fate. But I'll upload the VOD to YouTube so you can check that out if you're interested. Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? And teleporting. Ah. Hey, 
Yes. Yes, we are. gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. This is going to be the bullet that wins the game. Say nothing. It just takes a power stance. Are you happy? Nothing. Is everything okay with us? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> just, just silence. Just silence. Where do we go from here? <laughs> just say nothing. <laughs> I forgot how stupid this is. Too much into your silence, but it's not working. I can't deal with this right now. Where's my brother? I'll find him. You just hang out here. This is so it's so great. Rip relationship. I don't even know if that happened. Uh no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, well, this is Which one is uh you know, where the magic happens? Is he... It's so awkward. I know, right? Oh! Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> Where are they? Oh, Say nothing! The oh. I was just getting them now. How did he know about those beers? Didn't we hide those? And are they like, you know... Switching it out for money. Oh, I see. I see you followed, but it didn't do the the bibbly boobly's. Let me actually check if the if the the thingamajig is running. Um, a plus screenwriting. Yeah, right. And the teleporting and just it's great. Like it's it's so great. Um. Oh, there we are. It's just super slow, and it made no noise, so I'm happy. Anyway, thanks for the follow, my friend. Now let's go back to this this glorious this glorious Finnish adventure. It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Hey, yo. Friends. What's this? Ah oh, yeah, it's the the pictures. We saw the pictures. Sorry. Didn't realize I was spacing out. Eh? I forgot this also has like the slowest walking speed. And that I got screwed over in that hit, right? I totally nailed that. Uh, I totally nailed that uh, QTE. I am not happy with how that turned out. Can I? Ooh, I can also have a view at her thing. Is, it, is he going to say something about it? Oh. I'm going to go find Julia. What? I'm right the fuck here. I'm like here. Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. There's so like something I could have found in there, right? Got it. Let's go up. Why did you have to join for just this? Wait. Can we talk about what just happened? Later, Alex. Okay. Right here. What? <laughs> the game is registering the fact that we don't want to talk to anybody. So it's like, you know what, you, you don't, you don't want to, you don't have to, you know, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination. I can read some of these numbers. It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah. I like I mean, how totally after the war, uninterested he is. Like, wow, did you find anything else? Like, you know, maybe, maybe you found like diary or, or maybe some like herbs. I don't know. 
excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the lull. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Say nothing. We did. We only took that one thing. The game made us take many things. Ah. Never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there, and it makes no difference. Her teeth are disturbing. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. We never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People <laughs> uh -huh. these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? What? <laughs> yeah. How does that work? Happened like, right yeah. Here. Yeah, we're total assholes. Do you know any good ghost stories? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> And nobody's responding? Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic nobody's, lighthouse. nobody's, nobody's saying anything. If you need to know, it's ripped right Am I the only one who thinks this is like, you know, like such a jump? Cruising on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll isolated from the rest of the world i used to say uh a toll wrong for the longest of time i used to say like a toll there you go something for the wiki she's stumbling down the beach he hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms sobbing as he hurries her back to the lighthouse he asks where she's from he doesn't waste any time smooth exactly say no no up up say nothing woman answers i live here in the lighthouse my parents are upstairs right now twists of course the lighthouse keeper says that isn't so of course he's lived there alone for years and the woman becomes hysterical and his sister parents are upstairs so they go to the top of the lighthouse and there splayed out on the floor is a man and a woman i used to say a vegetable instead of vegetable until around last year people huh? don't use axes anymore okay fine then it was a meat hook they were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, that's fine. Vegetable is, uh, okay. it's, it's something actually like a lot of people probably still do. If I'm, uh, if I be completely honest. So don't worry about it. Closet says he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. Oh, oof, bird. <laughs> Opens the door and, sure enough, there's a man inside. Poor guy. He sliced out his Poor guy. Sides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer, and he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, old. super twist. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice one. <there>. What? <laughs> but it also uh, confirms that he's a zombie, which is fine. I told it better last time. A good effort. Okay, you've all had your fun. I like how she just sat there, just awkwardly, like, "You guys are the worst." But continue your story, please. Standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. My yeah. <laughs> apparently, my brother is a zombie, which is fine. It's totally fine. That sounds like a title of a terrible movie from the 90s, early 2000s. Um, nah, that would be more like. Um, oh, uh, I'm thinking of something like stupid, like, uh, like you had scary movie and stuff like that. But then something stupid with the uh, zombies. Oh God, cultists. Um, like Dawn of the Dead is such a classic. And I'm like thinking Shaun of the Dead already happened in the early 2000s, but that's a great movie. Another terrible one. 
So we can't use that. Or maybe 80s when there's uh, literally a movie uh, named Your Sister is a Werewolf. Or, you know, Teenage Werewolf in London. <laughs> there were things! I didn't know I had to do things! Fuck, wrong button! This is a PlayStation controller, god damn it! Okay, we cooled it. This is no good. Is this some kind of like... Is it? Is this how cults normally work? Because I can sign up for this. <gasps> Salem? You studied in Salem? <laughs> yes. But yeah, my 80s, I honestly... This is how sail cults recruit. Hmm. I'll have to go sailing more. But I honestly love 80s horror movies. They're the best. Well, they're the worst, but they're also the best. Uh, okay. Uh, ha, we ungag no one. We ungag no one. <laughs> we just sit here like, okay. We have accepted our fate. Nobody talk. <laughs> no, I am not ungagging anyone. <laughs> no. <laughs> we have accept exactly. Enjoy the silence. Which is also from the 80s, I think, or late 70s by the Pesh Mode. There you go. All all coming together. <laughs> At least he also communicates non-verbally. Almost free. Oh, another another fact, because uh, why not? I am basically made of uh, wood. I can I could never do this. I can hardly put my shoes on. That's how much I need to go to yoga. It's like, oh my god, I am the worst when it comes to those things. That's true, I am a hand. But even then, I could never, like, pull my, my, my fingers over my palm, you know. Uh... I am thinking I am just going to investigate. Just going to check. Because I'm not going to untie anybody. Oh shit! He's coming! Oh shit! Last in hypermobility. Well, I guess that is a very sucky thing. Ah! Wrong button! Fuck! Why did he just kick him? Be back for you later. Man, this is gonna be the worst. I forgot that this this is ah, oh, this is gonna be the worst. You all alone with us now. I hope it's square. Oh no, on the PlayStation controller. You're the little lady. I'm pretty sure this punch also does nothing. Like it doesn't mean anything. I would get punched in the face anyway, so it didn't even matter if you dodged it. Why did he get- wait. He got punched twice to the side of his head, and then the other side started bleeding. How does that work? I also like how they just use like Opinel knives. Just you know, why not? Easy. Give him, give him a, give him a, a nice cut. Because they're just like pocket knives, right? It's like. 
absolutely not threatening. Like the knife we took into the into the sea was even wor like worse. Yeah, yeah, I'm on my best behavior because I say nothing. I am calm and nice and collected and cool. Snippy snappies. Then stop the move. <laughs> Holy moly, these people. And now she's. He is now weirded out by you. Good. 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 This this is like he posing on people without having arms. Hey, dude. He just gave up the gig. Dipstick. Shut the fuck up. And he doesn't realize he doesn't realize his arms aren't tied anymore. They have an influence. There are there are so many holes in this. There is a there's a lot going on here. Uh I saw nothing. So I will say nothing. Huh? <laughs> what? Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, you, you, this guy. They're coming. This guy. What was that dude? Be what was that dude over there? The Who's that dude in over there? You didn't have to say anything. What? How much money they have? You should have said nothing. That's the tactic that seems to be working in this game. Just say nothing. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Oh god, they're counting down. This is another QTE I'm gonna fail. Oh no. Storm's eight miles away. We came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy here. He's got a gun. Well, at least one of us is it? on their boat. Get some help. Say nothing. Is it the... Uh... Is it one mile, mile per second? Because I don't think that's how it works in kilometers, so I don't even know how that works. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. Good call. I'll, um... Here, I'll climb out this window, take a look around. Just scope it out. You guys distract them, so they don't see me sneaking. That was the most, like, drugged out, uh, in, like, face we had the entire game already. What button is it? What button is it? Oh, right trigger. Five, six. Wait, it didn't register. What the hell are you thinking? What the hell, guys? Kitty caught something and ate it. Congratulations. How did it not register? I pressed the right trigger. I am. I am. I okay. Whatever. Whatever game. Oh god, okay, I can do this too. Don't fuck yourself. Drowning, now! Um I'm gonna stab a dude! Wait. That's bad, right? Careful. Don't make this worse. Can I throw doing, Can I throw my knife at him? Come on. We can beat these assholes. This kid's trying to kill me or uh... 
Take. Take. Oh, no, you ass, you stupid. Ah, oh, so dumb. He is so dumb. This is, he is so dumb. Why did he go for the dropping gun? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, amateur hour indeed. I'm so annoyed at this. That's like, that's like the oldest trick in the book. What did Kitty call, by the way? That's good French. Just good French. Where again was this game? Olsen. Come here. Do you know? I don't know either. I, they said something. I speak French. Je parle le français. Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian go? Probably a fly. Okay. Don't ask me to speak much French. I can speak French. It's just. It's cringy French. Not like this French. <sighs> At least he still grunts and I'm happy with that. No talking. Uh, okay, still cool though. And they're from French Polynesia. Ah, that'll do it. Yeah, I get it. All right. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, in Belgium, we have to learn the um, nat like the 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 languages from the country anyway. Nothing. So that's uh, Dutch and French. Complete fucking silence. Get it? Get it. Why does he just... What? What? The guy just said, I don't want you to speak. And he's like, you know what? <laughs> We're going to turn this into a goddamn reality show. I'll say nothing. Oui, oui, en Belgique, nous étudions le français. This was a trap and you set us up. Hey, asshole. Hey, asshole. That's also French. Ah! Sit still. All right. This, this. Bucket, bucket. We, we. Omelette du fromage and such. Are you trying anything? Anything. Oh shit, I have to talk. I'm going to die now. Say nothing. Say nothing. Do I though? Oh, we are dying, huh? Oh, shit! What is the A button? What is the... What is the goddamn A button? What is... I am gonna fail everything just because... Oh, this is the worst. He's going to die now. Okay, yeah, just cut it all loose. Reminds me of uh Fou du Fafa. Uh I am going to do nothing. And um by Flight of the Concords. Ah, uh, if you if you like Flight of the Concords, you um you are all right in my book. Yeah, they're gonna be gruesome deaths, and there's nothing I can do about them. 
But we also managed to not die already a couple of times, I think, by sucking. So I'm a... Uh, I'm doing fine, I guess. Is he hiding somewhere? You're Brad. Stop talking so loudly about the dude. Uh, whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. Okay, listen. I have a plan. Brad stays hidden. He's better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. It's a tiny boat. How can this is ah uh, this is frustrating me hard. Is this where the real spooky things happen? Oh hi you. This is that dude from the intro, like, two or three weeks ago. More? I don't even remember. When was the last time we played? But I do remember the guy falling in the boat. And I do like the very classical, uh, like, movie cut to fade to black. Well, fade to black, just cut to black. <sighs> I thought three weeks ago the, sh the ship is post World War II. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. I don't know what that has to do. I am. I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Is it still dropping? No. Say nothing. We say nothing. You're going it alone. Independent. Admirable. Possibly foolish. Well, oh, died three weeks ago. I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. We saw him die three weeks well, ago. Now that you've reached a point Fifty years ago. Distress. I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Sneaky guy. Special feature unlock. Probably shouldn't have said that. I think this, like, streaming this game at 30 FPS was a bad idea. Everything feels so choppy when I look at the preview. So why are they going on this ghost boat? Why are they, why are they doing this? What are they gaining? Ah, for that Manchurian gold. Ah, is this, how they travel to here? Oh. Ah. Oh, we're so gonna get that in this. They're making us climb on top of a rusty boat on like bare feet? No. No, 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 no. No bueno. Jesus. Yeah, I'll abort that strain. I hope I don't get silenced for all the caps I'm using. Oh, well, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I don't think... Maybe Nightbot might be a little bit still on the hard uh, side. Oh, I need to move. But I don't think... I don't think you'll be in trouble. What's over here? And can I die if I walk over here?
What are you? They just let me check this out. They just let me check this out. Hey! I was reading that, you ass! Can I- can I go get the thing? No? Okay. Oh, look! Feet! How nice! Keep moving. But I'm looking at this guy! How can you not see these feet? They're obviously feet. What's up with these guys? This is- this is like Resident Evil levels of we don't know what we're doing. Oh no, my bracelet! I need that to know my mood. Hand. So many, so many jump scares. We're gonna get some more, maybe? I did not sign up for a trip to Creep Town. Did you? The mask of madness. Do you dare to look death in the eye? How nice. Oh, look, across. Some, someone's hung their, their necklace here. I don't see... There's going to be more jump scares, right? There's going to be like a, a bed bunk that falls down and a corpse is going to land on them. Right? I'm just gonna pass that thing by because they're gonna knock it out of my hands anyway. What the hell do these dickheads want with us? Jump scare. Jump scare right about now. Or not. What's your problem? No? Okay. Let me continue. Oh, shit. There we go. I knew it. Ah, this is what you get when you have no life and you just wasted watching movies. Now, can I look at this now? Are they going to knock it out of my hands again? Uh, you're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. Uh, get ready for job, please. He is sick again. Uh, con yeah, enjoy. Enjoy. Ah, and tell me what flavor. When you're back. He's sick again, conveniently, it's always when he has guard duties in hall 3A. Uh, first is 2400, check the card for rotation. Again, third time this week, none of us like it down here, maybe Patterson should buck up, just get on it. Oh, that's the thing they knocked down, right? So I don't know who it would be. Uh, I guess I'll continue on, it's gonna be more jump scares soon, I guess. Okay. Into the room. Oh, fuck doors. Hey, it's pitch black in here. Give us a light. You're a light. These are like the nicest kidnappers. And if it's so dark, how can she find this lamp? Ghosts? Zombie ghosts? Kindest pirates. These pirates don't need treasure because they got a heart of gold. Say nothing. That friendship booty. Mmm. We are. It's not good. You think this ship is the Manchurian goal? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. Flavor is classic salt. Can't uh, you can't get more classic than that. That's true. Enjoy. Oh man, I wish I had some. Any moves. Second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. But I got tasty hydration, some tasty water. 
I do wish I could share with you all. Haha. <laughs> nah, man, it's fine. Just enjoy. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly. Just enjoy. Out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. What happened to him? No idea. They swiped our distributor cap. It's gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. See, everybody in chat wants you to have the best life. You're gonna get a cookie. Is it gonna be? Uh, better be chocolate chip, right? Cannot outwire distributor cap. Okay, these assholes knew exactly what they were doing. It's like well, they drive boats and fish for a living. Whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. It actually is. Ah. I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, and it's lactose free. I may have kind of prematurely. That is a. Uh, Kinda of hard to do. You know, kind of mm, chop chip, chip cookies. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. All them tasty things. Yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I. Hmm. Yes. Your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Cool. cool. Mm. Bruh. <laughs> this is. I don't know why they're such. Ugh. They are. They don't even need me to be awkward. They just are. Am I gonna see ghosts here? Oh. Uh, gangland Ling of 1947. Archaeologists missing in Iraq. Archaeologist. Uh, 24 British uh, archaeologists have gone missing in the Zagros Mountains of Iraq. The Hodge Hodgson. Hodge Hodgson. Expedition arrived in the kingdom in September last year with the stated goal of unearthing the blah blah blah. blah. Oh, map. No, I'm not. I'm gonna do this now. This is this is how we get out. We're not doing this yet. I got me them cookies. Enjoy. What is that weird crack here? Just go like, oh, no, 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 no. what are you? Oh, glasses. Real, real creepy. Old glasses. Can I, can I look at them? Can I look through them? Everybody's enjoying stuff. Oh, oh look at all that mold in that cup. Ugh. Ugh. That's gross. That's just real gross. No. <laughs> Yeah, walk a circle. That's fine. Show me the mall. I'll show you the mall in a second. Hey, baby doll. All the places I'm gonna die on. A bonafide ghost ship. I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Three months. I've been on some shore leave with the guys. Had a few beers, but don't worry. I'm keeping everything ready for you if you catch my drift. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Wink, wink. How's work? I hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away and I want to keep you safe. I get a lot of time to think while I'm guarding the cargo holds. It's dark and spooky down there. Some of the other guys have seen a figure roaming around, but I've always got you with me to keep me safe too. I'll be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic and can get married and have two children. We'll be so happy together forever. Love you so much. Miller X. Javier? Look, that's the same cup. It's the same cup, but I'll show you the more clear cup. Did you see the mold? Look at that mold. When it like unzooms. So gross. Just so gross. It's just a cup full, right? What are you? Scratches? I wonder why this was ripped off. I don't know. Oh, look, it's a doggo. Ship mascot. Oh, no. Are we going to have to fight, like, a, a tiny ghost zombie dog? Are we, are we really going to do that? 
Because I don't want to. If I look outside, it's going to be a jump scare, right? They are such nice people, well, uh, eloquent, uh, well-mannered, just in general, you know, the salt of the earth. I'm gonna let them talk. I'm just gonna let them be busy. They have so much to say. Should I just be... You know what? I'll be specifically awkward to them. Just living our lives, Conrad. Whatever's left of them. I found a letter, by the way. Some guy was writing to his little lady back home about all the ghosts and crap on the ship. Ghosts? Say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? <laughs> oh. Click, clack. Let's hope we don't run across any ghosts. Did, did that light just... We got our hands full already. Why did that light just turn off?